It is, uh, it's a beautiful day is what it is. This is a great day to go fishing. These are my favorite days to go fishing because these are the days that the fish usually bite. I got John with me here today. We're gonna go float a river. It's raining, it's crappy. I'm about to stick the rain suit on. I only brought two rods with me. Two rods with two topwaters. That's all I'm planning on throwing today. That might come back to bite me in the butt, but I don't think it's going to. So we got a buzz bait, we got a chopo, we got the inflatable. We're about to send it. We're about to see what we can get done. done. John, what do you think, buddy? Um, it's uh, better to... I, w I could be sleeping. It's a good day to be sleeping, but I'd rather be out here catching fish with my buddy Alex. So. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's good energy, John. Good energy. But I also know if I don't put it on now, I'm probably going to be miserable later. <laughs> Correct. I literally brought two rods with me today. I've got a buzz bait and I've got a chopo. And uh, yeah, we're going straight braid, straight top water. That's what we're doing today. We're here to uh, sling big baits and uh, take names. Holla. <laughs> Holla. Look here. Look here. Plop daddy. Oh, plop daddy. Oh, plop daddy. Oh, that's a good one too, buddy. That's a good one too. <laughs> oh, plop daddy. Woo! Woo! Hey. Yeah, good start. That's awesome. We'll get some good pictures today. That's, that's awesome. There you go, guys. Oh, that's not good. The screen's not supposed to look like that. Huh. Old Chapo fish. Heck yeah. First one. That's what I'm talking about. You don't like that. There's something wrong with Dude, that guy barely ate it. I mean, he just kind of come up with a slack. Bloop. Well, that was fun. Feels pretty good. I can't tell how big he is because he's running right at me. Lord have mercy. What is this? Oh, he's a decent one. He's a decent one. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Little fish. Double it up! Heck yeah! There you go, John. Heck yeah, bud. There you go, guys. There's a little guy, nothing big. But he bit the chopo, that's fun. Let's get him back in the water. Heck yeah, buddy, thank you. Man, we're gonna have to go down the right side here. There he is. There he is. That's a big one, John. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Woo! Hi. Huh. Yeah, bud. Oh, look how pretty that fish is, man. <laughs> oh, what a bite. That is awesome, dude. Heck yeah. Dude, are these fish spawning right now? And is that water cold enough that these fish are spawning? Because that's the second one I've caught with a roughed up tail. Oh, right your kayak, too. Yeah. Heck yeah, guys. What a bite. God damn, pit. look how dark they are, too. Yeah, they definitely seem darker. Hmm. Get this one back. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, dude, they need the current, man. The current's gonna make all the difference in the world with these fish. I don't disagree. I, I say, I mean, we've only got an hour. And like, if all else fails, we'll pull up on the freaking 
boat dock and eat us a snack and just sit there. You know what I mean? Okay, I like it. So plan, let you guys in on the plan as me and John scream at each other <laughs> down the river here. Me and John, me and John often make plans with each other at very loud volumes. Um, but we're going to, so there's no water flow right now. We, we mistimed the damn discharge. Normally this time of year, they discharge at nine o'clock. And so we planned to meet her at nine o'clock because we knew that there would be a discharge for an hour, which is going to raise the river. It's going to give us the current we need to get back down the river. And so that was the plan. Well, they've moved it up to 12, um, for today. And so it is 1049 right now. So we got about an hour before the, the current really gets going, which is gonna position these fish, make this float a lot easier, and then obviously make these fish eat. And so, yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait it out. We got snacks, we got drinks, we got plenty of water to fish, and so that's what we're gonna do. I may walk down here and fish this little pool right down here though, because what do you wanna bet there's a fish caught up in it? God, them rocks are slick. All right, guys, snack time. I don't know, how do you say that? Sahal? I don't know. Me and John were talking about this. This stuff is expensive, yeah. but it is so good. It's ridiculous. Like, this one bag is like five bucks, but it's got enlarged for detail. Um, cinnamon, pecans, cherries, apples and walnuts it's sweet, very good. yeah it's very sweet but it is very good it's probably got like well, the sugar's not terrible because it's it's cane sugar it's pure cane sugar and then the sugar from yeah so i mean it's not it's not great but it's not horrible mm, it's so good say that just don't make no gosh dang sense if there ain't one sitting right there heck yeah oh gosh that's a lot bigger fish than i thought it was heck yeah Whew. heck yeah I'm talking about man when they eat this chopper like it ain't a big blow up like on that buzz bait and on that buzz bait like they barely suck it down or on that buzz bait they blow up on, on this chopper, man. They're just like coming up and just, just barely slurping it. That's a good quality fish, though. Chopper 120. Heck yeah. Get out of here, buddy. Heck yeah. Oh. That was a freaking giant right there he is too Golly, man. Oh, my word. I will never understand as long as I live how a fish can eat hit a chopper like that and not get it in his mouth oh my gosh Never will I ever understand it. Ugh. What a freaking bite. Lord have mercy. Thank you. Not big. Not big. We're going into a tree. We're going to have to. You're gonna have to chill right there for just a second, bud, before I get around this tree. Not a giant, but it's a fish. Come here, dude. Heck 
cow. He ate it good. Another one. Pretty. Good bite. Dang good bite. Just wish they'd get a little bit bigger. If you like peeing your coladas and getting caught in the rain. If you're not into yoga and you have half a brain. If you love me, you love me, Come on, John, take it with me. Yeah, it's a good little stretch right here. There's always fish right here. There we go. <laughs> I stopped it and he got it. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Heck yeah, there's another one. Not a giant, but it's another fish. We're in a good little section right here. This section always holds fish. It's what me and John were talking about. Let's go look. Ow, ow. Come on, calm down. That fish is 15, about 15 and a half inch. So, again, not a giant, but we're in a stretch right now where me and John both like have said and, and is, have experienced that always tends to have some big fish in it. And so... You keep a bait in the water right here because any one of these could be that 18, 19 incher we're looking for. Or bigger, right, John? Well, guys, we're about halfway through this float, and it's been a pretty good float today. This river is getting there. That's for absolutely certain. We're, we're almost to that time of year where this place is going to be silly. And the thing is, is we're a little bit behind this year, and a lot of that has to do with the unseasonably warm temperatures we've been having and then the lack of rain we are in a major drought right now like and when i say major i mean like major major <laughs> drought um i forgot what the exact thing is but it's like 18 or 20 inches below yearly rainfall totals and it's making it where they're not flowing a lot of you know current through these dams and that's really what turns on that fall bite you know um just extra rain that we normally get this time of year them dropping the lakes to get ready for the winter you know they push a lot of water through the dams and they've just not been doing that because there's just not a lot of excess of water to actually do that with and so we're getting there though i mean as you guys can see today it's raining a little bit today we've got some more rain on the way uh, we'll get caught up with it it's just getting enough to get caught up with it but we're having a good time there's fish there's fish to be had there's fish that are biting you cannot complain about a day like today. I just wish a few more of these fish that seem to somehow just blast this chopo and not get it would actually connect with it because there's nothing more annoying than when they just throttle this thing and somehow don't get it into their mouth. But just got to keep a bait in the water. Keep fishing for them. There's usually one up under this tree. Let's see. Golly, there we go. He didn't mess around with it. That's a good one, too. That's one of the ones we're looking for right there. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, he's good, but he's not giant. He didn't mess around with it, though. Let's get up in here. Heck yeah. Another decent one. Another decent one. Another decent one. Chopo, Chopo in the kayak is... Uh, ch Chopo in the inflatable kayak, too, is... Uh, probably not the best idea but i'm having fun and honestly that's all that matters it's actually my birthday today so oh, if i want to throw a chop on my birthday i'm gonna throw a chop on my birthday and i'm gonna go catch spotted bass just like that out of a kayak because honestly spotted bass on top water in the fall is exactly what i want to be doing on my birthday so there you go guys let's get him back in the water thanks buddy
Yes. <clears throat> There's an F-250 sitting in the middle of the river. Um, okay, well, this is a first. This is like first time ever in my life that I've rolled up on an F-250 sitting in the middle of a river. And they're jamming to music. If I didn't have this on video, no one would believe me. This is one of those situations. You guys can still hear them jamming out back there, but those two dudes were literally sitting in the middle of the river. I don't know how they got there. Literally don't know how they got there. Um, with the doors open on their truck, they wouldn't look at me and were just blaring <laughs> Alice in Chains. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Little big guy. Little big dude got him right on top of the head too. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I'll we'll get you unhooked. I'll we'll get you unhooked. Of course you get it good. The big ones, you know. Again, the big ones, they can never get it. But these little dudes, they'll get it. Four hooks in their face and I mean Lord of Mercy, he got every hook in that chopo. Well, guys, we're nearing down to the last third of this float here. We've not got much longer to go, but these fish have kind of stopped biting. The water's really, really low. Again, they only ran that generator for an hour, and so I don't think it pushed enough water into the river to keep the flow up, you know, because there's a couple big, deep sections that a lot of that water can kind of flow into and spread out, and it loses a lot of that momentum that it has you know at that more narrow you know section up at the top where we started out this morning and as you guys can see the bite has kind of just progressively got worse as we go down through here and a lot of that has to do is we're getting further and further away from that good flow and the thing about the thing this is is obviously you guys can see there's flow here and um you know there's enough that it, that it can position fish but the problem is the depth and so a lot of those bigger fish um, when when the water depth you know goes down obviously like it is they'll move off out of the middle and they'll just sit there they don't want to eat like literally you can bonk them in the head with things and they just don't eat and um, that's kind of what we're starting to see here I mean, we're definitely there's a few stragglers here and there we got a few good areas that we're going to go through here in just a second that i seem to always get bites on it's just going to be whether it's a little 13 inch or like we just caught or it's a you know two three pounder and a lot of the times where this water so far down those two and three pounders have kind of moved off but it doesn't mean that there's not one 
somewhere, a little straggler living somewhere. And so we're gonna keep tossing the chopper around, kind of living and dying by it today. I've tossed the buzz bait a little bit, but me and John both have tossed the buzz bait and they just don't seem to want it as much. John's only caught two on it and I've had zero blow ups on it. And John's thrown a black one, which I thought was unusual in the fact that he's got, I think he's got three bites. So he's got more bites than me. I'm throwing a white, he's throwing a black one. So uh, might be something to it where it's a little bit cloudy today, but yeah, we're gonna stick with the chopper for a minute, see if we can get a couple more good ones to mess up on it. But we're nearing down to the end of this thing, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's almost there. I mean, it is. It's almost that time of year where everything's just gonna be right in the world. There's gonna be plenty of river flow. There's gonna be plenty of fish wanting to eat top water, and we'll be able to come down to through here and catch, you know, 15, 16 in a day that are all. 15 to 20 inches. That's what we like to do. Yep. It's a good day. Great day to be alive. Stop recording. Start recording. Oh, my word. Okay. And he's gone. Son of a bitch. John, did you see that? Dude, he blew up, come unhooked, and then I hooked him in the tail. He come, he come undone. I literally stopped my camera, guys. Had the probably the biggest blow up from the biggest fish all day. That was probably a 19 inch fish. And he had it in the mouth, come up tail walking, shook it, and hooked himself in midair in the tail, and then started digging again. I almost got him into the into the kayak just now. Dude, that was crazy. He he rehooked himself in midair, bro. That is insane. Golly. Well, guys, there you go. That's that, uh, that is a scale from that about 18 or 19 inch spotted bass that I lost on the Chapo. John, what do you think, buddy? Hey, it was a good day, solid overall. No big ones. Ready to go get something to eat. What are we getting? Probably Mexican. You think L Mexican? Little MD. Yeah. Whoo! Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end today's video right here. Had a great day out on the water with my buddy John. It's always awesome to get out there to go catch some mean spotted bass in a river, especially when you can do it on top water. That fall bite is almost there. Um, what's happening right now is what we need to get it the rest of the way there, which is rain. It's finally raining here in East Tennessee. Like I said in the video, we are in a severe drought. And so if it rains for the next week, it is not going to disappoint me at all because it's gonna get some water into these lakes, which allows them to turn these dams on and get some flow through these rivers, which is gonna turn these fish on and make them want to eat and do the fall time thing. And so, yeah, we're getting there. It's, it's almost there. I mean, you guys saw today, we had plenty of blow ups, put a few fish in the kayak. We had a chance at a big one, ended up getting it off right there in that crazy, unhooking itself and then hooking itself in the tail and all that kind of stuff and yeah it's a great day it's a good day out on the water I'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video and you guys watched it make sure to go down in the pinned comment i'll have all the gear that i used today down there in that pinned comment and yeah as always you guys are sweet thanks for watching